Hapa, basi Kiswahili imeishi hapo. I'm sitting here with a panel of 5. My name is Trevor Mbija from Citizen TV and Ramogi TV. I'm here with a panel of 5, four of them formidable women to make heads and tails of this conversation which really is a representation of the deputy presidential debate that is happening live right here from the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Let me start by introducing my guest from my father's left, Professor Gituro Wanaina is here. Lecturer and also agricultural economics expert. Thank you so much for making time. Thank you, Trevor. Nerima Wako is also here, executive director, Siasa Place. Asante Sana for making time. Thank you. Dr. Nancy Baraza is here, former deputy chief justice. Thank you so much for making time. And on my right, Asaska Labarakwe, public policy expert. Thank you so much for making time. And Wanjiru Gikonyo, executive director, TISA, which is the Institute of Social Accountability. You had the front row on this discussion during the gubernatorial de debate, and that's where I want to start, Wanjiru. Mm -hmm. What are the key issues you expect the deputy presidential candidates to speak about today? Well, um, obviously, thank you so much, Trevor. Pleasure to be here with this uh, illustrious panel, and great to see you, Professor uh, Gedure. Um, we, uh, we expect to hear... Um, of course, they're going to talk about their manifestos. Yeah. They're going to put forward the economic agenda. They're going to try and sell themselves, uh, resell themselves to their base, but yeah. also try and reach out to the undecided. So we expect um, the, the, the parties to um, really r resonate with, with, with Kenyans. Yeah. Right now, cost of living is a big issue. The issues around cost of living have to do with the policies of the Jubilee administration. Yeah. Um, so, of course, there, there are contradictions immediately. And a lot of people are confused, wondering, if you look at um, Azimio, yeah. the president is, an, is, a, is in Azimio. Um, yet, the, the issues that are facing Kenyans are, have to do with the Jubilee party. Mm -hmm. If you look at the other side, um, again, you're looking at the Jubilee Party. So there are contradictions. And uh, the challenge with the candidates, of course, is to sell their agenda and to cut through these con co uh, contradictions. We also expect to hear issues about integrity, yeah. uh, issues about leadership, because a lot of the present problems have to do with state capture, yeah. have to do with corruption. Okay. Uh, our finding in civil society, within three years of the administration being in power, yeah. there were 19 mega corruption scandals. It was unseen. The amount of looting and the levels of looting have never been seen before. Yeah. So we want to get some reality checks okay. and hopefully um, more truth than propaganda All right. to enable uh, Kenyans okay. uh, make good decisions. Asaska, what are the key issues you want the deputy presidential candidates to speak about as a Kenyan living here? Uh, thank you, Trevor. One of the common things that cuts across all the four manifestos is the Kenyan economy. And uh, it's just not some topic that is interested, interesting to the politicians. It's also yeah. interested to our 22 million voters in Kenya. And why is Kenyan economy coming into the picture? at this time and at this period in time. One, it's clear that our democracy space is growing. And number two, it's also due to recent development. One is a COVID pandemic, uh, which has led to high cost of living, high cost of fuel, there's high in in inflation. It's currently at 7.9%, even way above the bridge uh, set by the CBK. And uh, high public debt yeah. and runaway corruption. So okay. definitely, if you look at all the four uh, 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 manifestos, yeah. you'll realize that there are some impre impressive uh, commitments cutting across. If you look at the Roots Party, there's this controversial legalization of, uh, uh, of cannabis. Yeah. Um, and also, you'll see that the Roots Party is looking outward, okay. not inward. All right. We'll get into those discussions in just a bit, but let me bring in Dr. Baraza on this. Dr. Baraza, what do you expect these candidates to discuss tonight that is of utmost importance? I think <clears throat> I, I expect them not to come here and uh, election year, but uh, talk about real issues. And yeah. these real issues include the high cost of living. Yeah. Um, I think we, they should be able to tell us and tell Kenyans how, what they are going to do about um, the, the runaway cost of living. Mm -hmm. Unemployment is a major, major issue 
Um, we, I come from the academia. We, we, we are churning out um, uh, um, youth uh, from the universities. They are coming out of colleges and they are going nowhere. They have no jobs. And um, we don't want a future of all our youth um, uh, jobless. Yeah. So I, I, I expect that they address that issue and in a very, very serious manner. Uh, issues of health. Um, I, th um, I hear money being uh, allocated to, to the Ministry of Health, uh, but I don't think uh, Kenyans are getting um, the, the, the services um, uh, optimally. So I, I, I would want uh, to hear uh, how they intend to do this, but of utmost importance is the issue of integrity, as yeah. uh, Wanjiru has said, and uh, corruption. Okay. Corruption, which is a cancer, it is killing us, it is killing this country. Uh, I want them to address, or I expect them to address uh, the issue of corruption. Okay. And Kenyans are expecting that uh, they get candid, candid uh, responses on, the, on how they intend to tackle uh, corruption. All right. Nerima, as a representative of the youth, what is of utmost importance to you? What? <laughs> Hi, Trevor. Um, I think everything has already been said by my co-panelists, yeah. and I agree with them completely. Uh, the fact that opportunities is going to be very high on the agenda, and how you're going to create those opportunities for young people, but not opportunities where you say we're providing a fund. Uh, we are very well aware that not all young people want to start enterprises and businesses. Opportunities within agriculture, food security, we are still undergoing a drought. So taking care of the population, yeah. that is not normally seen as being Kenyan. They are second class citizens and that's how they feel and it's an issue in our country. A lot of youth are in criminal gangs, talking about Mombasa County and even the northern frontier counties as well. And we tend to ignore these communities because yeah. a lot of times when we talked about the division of revenue, that's where a huge chunk of the debate came out from where counties are concerned about collection of resources. Okay. So even when we talk about opportunities, we need to be talking about debt. Our debt is just too high yeah. and it's going to fall on the youth to pay that debt. And how are they going to collect resources for that debt? Yeah. Because as much as we talk about yeah, corruption, we need to do something about it. It just definitely needs to reduce. This is also a political season where too much resources has been used in campaigns. Okay. My friends, too much. Yeah. Um, I think it's the highest I've ever seen, ever, and I'm not old, but it's a lot, okay. <laughs> uh, looking at, you know, statistics. Yeah. And so that means that whoever is coming into power has to figure out, one, to recuperate. Number two, they're going to have officials or frontiers who are within parliament who their first thing will be thinking how I'm going to recuperate financially. And then number three, it's going to be about how we're going to be able to sustain ourselves even when we talk about the high cost of living and the impact that COVID has made. So I would say opportunities, looking at corruption, yeah. our debt and resources, how are we going to be able to manage them? Inclusivity, right. how are we going to also engage communities that are not normally seen yeah. as people who are at the forefront of these conversations that are normally overtaken by the majority. All right, Prof, I'll come to you to get your expectations in just a bit, but let's cross over to Busara Naman, who's standing by the registration center to tell us what's going on. Busara, 